Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Battlefield 6 for maximum FPS, get rid of all of your lags, stutter, and black screen issues. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Hello. one is going to be the best windows settings and for that simply search for settings onto your pc head over to gaming then game bar and simply turn this thing off since it is an overlay service i would highly recommend you guys to keep this off for maximum performance then go back to gaming once again head over to game mode and simply turn this thing on as it will optimize your pc by turning things and applications off in the background allowing you to get extra fps then click on the graphics button underneath and then optimizations for windowed games should be turned on as it will help you to reduce input latency and then for the advanced graphic settings in Enable hardware x rated GP scheduling to actually utilize your graphic card to run the game. Then you're gonna have to click on the add desktop app button underneath and go to the download location of your game. Should be under Steam library, head over to the common folder, Battlefield 6 and select the bf6.exe over here. Click on the add button and once that is added, select it and then for the GPU preference, set it to high performance and make sure that it is utilizing your graphic card over here. Once that is done, head over to personalization and then click on colors and now you have to disable transparency effects and this will help you. To disable your windows and surfaces appear translucent to save some of your animation and computing resources once that is done simply turn this thing off before moving ahead i want to introduce you guys to skycoach.gg which is an ultimate platform if you want to get coached by pros and improve your gaming experience and skycoach recently added battlefield 6 to their rooster where they offer you leveling service rank up and boost your career along with your weapon mastery and complete your campaign you can purchase it in us dollars or euros simply select a service and then select your rank from one to let's say 15 this will give you the price you can select express or super express to improve the completion time you have to enter your email and click on buy now and you'll be instantly connected to the pro on the platform itself you guys can simply chat with them before order and clear your head if you have any questions Skycoach has more than 20,000 reviews on Trustpilot with 4.7 star rating. That means that they are trusted. And if that is not enough, Skycoach has a library of more than 100 games and they have 3,000 plus pros and 1.2 million completed orders along with 200,000 happy customers. I have left a link for you guys to go check out skycoach.gg in the description below. Also, don't forget to use my code BEARFOX for additional discounts. So make sure to go ahead and check them out. Next step is compatibility settings and for that head over to steam right click on your game head over to manage and then click on browse local files right over here select bf6.exe right click on that and click on properties click on compatibility and disable full screen optimizations over here click on change high dpi settings and select this option click on ok and apply to reduce unwanted input latency and fix black screen issues once that is done simply close it next step is disabling background applications and for that simply search for edit group policy over here and once you're over here double click on computer configuration administrative templates windows components and then app privacy and right over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background this is the policy that we had to enable and default for all applications should be set to force deny and this will deny all of the applications running in the background actively and will help you to optimize the performance of your pc simply click on the ok button once that's done and simply close it next step is deanimating windows and that is really simple yet very important simply search for edges appearance and performance of windows on your pc and click on the custom button over here and then enable animations in the taskbar, save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, smooth edges of screen fonts and show window contents while tracking. All of these options will help you to keep the basic and minimal look of your windows intact while disabling all of the other unwanted animations on your PC. Once that is done, click on the OK button. Now the next step is setting up your virtual memory and this is also in the advanced tab right over here click on the programs button and then click on the change button over here deselect automatically manage paging file size and make sure that your local SC is selected over here for the initial size set this thing to 1361 or you guys can alternatively go for 1024 as this is one gigabyte now open up your calculator and then you want to have to multiply your ram that is 32 gb for me with 1024 this will give you your ram in megabytes as this asks you the value in megabytes now once again if you guys are wondering where your system memory is search for system info 
information and then look for install physical memory that is 32 GB for me right over here. What you guys have to do is divide this value by two and the new value that you get over here should be pasted in the maximum size. This will help you to optimize the performance of your RAM while using your hard disk as an alternative RAM if your RAM is completely utilized. Once that is done, click on the set button, click on OK. Once that is done, click on OK over here, click on close. Before moving ahead, I want to introduce you guys to Lego Fast, which essentially helps you to fix all kinds of packet loss, ping issues and latency. And you guys can download it for free from the link in the description below. Lego Fast basically works as a VPN which connects your PC straight to the game servers without any hindrance. And you guys can find more than 300 games over here. Simply search for Battlefield 6 over here and select the game. Then you have to select the server. You can select automatic, but I would recommend you guys to choose from the list. Over here, I'd go with Asia and the nearest region to me would be Mumbai. Once that's done, it'll find me the servers with the lowest amount of ping. I'll select the first one, which is giving me 29 milliseconds. Click on one click boost and this will help you to one click boost your network as well as your FPS in the background. They have added a ton of tools over here including secure boot check if your games are not opening and you need a secure boot on your pc it will automatically check it along with that you guys can click on the best graphic settings it will apply all of the best graphic settings and the fps boost 2.0 which will help you to use frame generation to boost your fps you guys can check these as well and if that is not enough lego fast has a dedicated fps boost section wherein you guys can apply all of these settings on your cpu and you guys can update your GPU drivers and this will help you to boost your FPS drastically in the games as well. Once again, I have left a free download link to Lego Fast right in the description below so make sure you guys go and check it out. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create restore point on your PC and then you're gonna have to click on localist C. Click on the create button and name it BF6 just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any form of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on the close button and close system properties. The next step is Battlefield 6 FPS optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys will also find a Discord link to join my server in case you're suffering with any kind of issues or you want to ask me anything. Over here, you'll find in seven very simple yet very useful folders. The first one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you guys have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority. And if you guys have an Intel CPU, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. This basically helps helps you to set up the DWORD value for your processor to optimize its performance to the maximum level. Next is the RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of registries according to your system's RAM. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this registry over here. Could be different for you so you can apply it according to your PC and once again if that doesn't work out well or if you guys are facing performance issues, you can always double click and apply reset to default to set it back again. Third folder over here is the Battlefield 6 priority which is obviously for your game. Over here, I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority according to your PC. I'd recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here for the maximum performance. Once that is done, fourth one is disable unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services over here which are running in the background and are absolutely useless in most cases. To disable them, simply double click and apply every single one of these registries over here and it will help you to do that just so. Once again, if you use any Bluetooth or printer services, skip these two and if you want to revert any of them back again or you have done anything by mistake head over to the reverse registry folder and you guys can turn all of them back again from here the fifth one is power plan settings in which i have left import ultimate performance power plan and this batch file will help you to run a powershell command to add that onto your pc simply right click and run it as administrator and once that is run double click on power plans and then you want to have to select ultimate performance which should be in the additional plans over here once that is done it will help you to disable all kind of power saving features on your pc to optimize its performance sixth folder over here will help you to get rid of unwanted input delay double click on that and then you'll find keyboard latency fix now i would recommend you guys to leave your keyboard specifications and model name down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which keyboard buffer you need to choose over here and then for the mouse latency registries i have left a fixed mouse curve which is a setting optimized by the pros over here i have left smooth mouse curves and for the x and y curve along with the mouse speed threshold and this will help you to make your mouse movements correct and more lifelike thus you do not encounter any of the input latency issues 
issues in the game. Simply double click to apply this registry and once that is done, head over to the last folder that is programs in which I have left clean temporary files you're gonna have to right click and then run it as administrator. This will basically ask you to clean all temporary files right off your PC, press enter and once that is done, simply close it. It is completely safe to do that and I would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then. The next one is MSI mode utility 3.0, simply right click and then run it as administrator. This simple software helps you to control the inter priority of your graphic card which will help you to optimize its performance slightly. Over here, find your graphic card in this list, click on the MSI button next to it and for the inter priority, select high over here and make sure to click on the apply button. Once it's done, simply close it and now you guys can close the FE spec as well. Next step is disabling sysmain and which is really important. Search for services over here and open it up. Click on any service and press S on your keyboard until you find sysmain over here. This is nothing but prefetch and it is an unnecessary service running in the background consuming up to 15% of your CPU resources. You do not want that while gaming, so to disable that, right click on that, head over to its properties and if the service is running, click on the stop button and for the startup type, set this thing to disable. This will completely disable the service and over here, once that's done, restart your PC and then you have to do a check of your FPS. If you're getting better FPS, keep it disabled and if you're not getting better FPS and you are currently facing FPS issues more than before, you guys can come over here and enable that back again. One more step over here is disabling unwanted startup applications, which basically plays a very important role on your system. Press Control Shift and Escape all together to open up your task manager and over here go to the fourth tab which is startup applications. And then you wanna have to disable all of the applications that you do not use right after the boot of your PC since these applications open up in the background and they consume your system resources like RAM, CPU and your GPU in the background. While you don't use them, I highly recommend you guys to disable all of these applications which run in the background and it will help you to preserve a lot of your system resources and it will also help you reduce the last BIOS time which is the boot up time taken by your PC. Once that is done, simply close it and now you guys can drop it in the game for the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, head over to the settings gear and now you have to go over to graphics. Then for the performance preset, go with custom, graphics quality, go with custom and for the graphics quality settings, click on the edit button. For the texture quality, go with high, texture filtering high, mesh quality, I'd recommend you guys to go with low, terrain quality medium, undergrowth quality low, effects quality low, volumetric, lighting and local light and shadow quality all of them low, sun shadow quality low, shadow filtering I've gone with BCF, reflection quality low, screen space reflections off, post process quality low and then all of these things should be set to low as well. Once that's done go back click on the ok button and now you have to click on the advanced button and click on the edit. For the fixed resolution scale, go with 100, FPS limiter should be turned off, NVIDIA reflex low latency should be set to enable plus boost if you are an NVIDIA graphic card user, anti-aliasing, go with DLAA if that is available for your PC, upscaling type should be set to DLSS and the upscaling quality should be set to performance. If you guys have an AMD GPU, you can go with FSR and upscaling quality should also be set to performance. For the frame generation, turn it off if you do not want input latency and future frame rendering should be turned off as well. Along with the performance overlay, I would not recommend you guys to turn this thing on if you have the MSI afterburner overlay going on. Otherwise, you guys can simply turn this thing to simple and it will just show you the FPS that you're getting on the top right section. Once all that is done, go back and now you guys can enjoy your game with the highest FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers. I would definitely appreciate you guys showing some support to the channel and I'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.